Hey everybody, what's up? Chillity27 here, bringing you more Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. <clears throat> in the last episode, we got here, uh, actually no, in the last episode, we took down Mugshot and retrieved the lost pages of the Thingus Raccoonus that contained, um, Sly, Sly's ancestors, Tennessee, yeah, I just can't talk. Sly Cooper's ancestors, Tennessee Kid Cooper's notes on how to do the rail walk and the rail slide. Two very important moves to the rest of the series. And in this episode, we will be heading off to Haiti to hopefully confront Miss Ruby sometime soon within the next couple episodes. Let's go! Creepy. The third member of the Fiendish Five was the infamous voodoo priestess, Miss Ruby. Born into a family of mystics, other children found her scary. Teaching herself to summon the undead provided what few friends she had. A career in crime allowed an adult Ms. Ruby to punish the world for fearing her as a child. Chief mystic for the Fiendish Five, her powers allowed them to break both the laws of man and nature at the same time. Yet despite the whirlwind success of her youth, she managed to slip into obscurity. Last known sightings claim she headed out of civilization. So yes, that is the basis of this episode. We have to go find a Haitian alligator and kill her for some reason. Vicious voodoo. Now this just creeped me the frick out the first time I saw it. Oh my gosh, it's a voodoo doll and it has pins in it and it looks like Sly. <gasps> and overall, this level isn't creepy, but it is somewhat disturbing with its weird subject matter. For one thing, check it out. These mosquitoes are freaking huge. Now, check this out. This game seems to have a problem with that sprite. I mean, seriously, the the little mist, it's always... Ah, never mind. Never mind. Suck it up, Bentley. We got work to do. You mean the raccoon railwalk? The roots and vines around here are perfect for that. All you gotta do is jump and hit the circle button. Especially where you see the bark has been worn away, and where it's super slick from icky slime and moss, you'll rail slide like a skater grinding pipe. So, on these vines, you just walk. Oh yeah, by the way, be sure not to miss this clue here behind the little tiki statue. You know, you figure the fire inside of this thing might burn out of control and take down this whole swamp with it, but that's probably not, that's not the case, apparently. Anyways, go up here and you can you know slide along vines. And another thing the swamp has is giant killer spiders. Uh, hey guys, um, since when did Haiti have all these things? Okay, I'm not so sure about Mesa City, but I know that Haiti is a real place. I mean, seriously, I don't know. Perhaps they do have all these giant killer spiders and giant mosquitoes and moss and ghosts and... Seriously, if anybody in Haiti is watching, please confirm this. I... Do you really have all these things? Jeez. Plus, I'm pretty sure that this is a bit of a stereotype. Not everybody in Haiti is a voodoo priestess. Anyways, slide along these vines that for some reason don't collapse under Sly's weight. Yeah, I know, I don't get it either. Slide, coins, yay, money, coins, coins, more spiders. Okay, now this I really don't get. Look at this thing. Look, okay, it looks like some sort of weird looking tree, right? However, it's actually a monster, and then as soon as you kill it, its head comes off, the body walks by itself, yeah, um, what? I mean, I'm not ragging on this game or anything, but you figured they could have at least been a little bit more realistic with the monsters found here in Haiti. I mean, seriously, a giant, mo a giant moss monster that has a detachable head, really? Uh... 
Anyways, more clues around here. There's six more clues. Let's go. Oh crap, oh crap. Okay. Alright, awesome. I landed. Yay. Okay. Now, this I might be able to understand. These guards. These voodoo guards. Oh wait, I never noticed that. They have a little candle on top of their heads. Huh. Anyways. So. I want to jump up here. And now, we sneak past. Hang on a sec. And now we sneak past this guy because for some reason he can only see where the flashlight is pointing and apparently everything else around him is pitch black. Hey buddy, how's it going? Another clue over here. Four more clues, let's do this. Yeah, Bentley wasn't kidding. If one of these guys sets off his whistle, it will attract all the other guards, you will get your bun shot, and you will die. That is not something that's very good. Anyways, like you said, we have to destroy all five of these purple candles to deactivate this force field right here. Hey buddy, how's it going? What's up? Smashy smashy. And that's the last candle, and for some reason it kills all the guards, too. I really don't know what's up with that. Alright, well, that key, I'm not going to get it quite yet, because there's something we have to do. There's a couple clues right here. And that's it. Now the last... Alright, now the last bit before we get that key is the safe, which conveniently is located right over here. Okay, 588. Yeah, I know I said I'd never sing opera again, but ha ha, I'm a jerk like that. Okay. What? I don't want to know what you're talking about, Bentley. Okay, so in layman's terms, now, when we roll... Ooh, slice around the by electricity. Yeah, if you roll into somebody now, for some reason, it hurts them. It's really hard not to question this game's logic. So, so hard. And we are greeted by a giant bat skeleton. Great sound of things to come, guys. My paranormal scanner is maxing out on that structure. A reading like that could only be coming off Ms. Ruby herself. I think you're right, Sly. If you want to crack at Ms. Ruby, you're going to have to find a way inside that school temple. All right, well, um, huh. Oh, my, oh, frick. Oh, now I'm stuck. I'm a stuck. Come on. Come on, Sly, you can jump. Jump, do it. Ah, oh, frick, never mind. Oh, really? Ah! Oh. Come on, Sly. Jump up. Jump up, Sly. You can do it. Come on. Jump. Ah, oh. okay. Well, this is total crap. Now there's no way for me to get back up there other than resetting the game because thanks to that, you know, water safety thing that we got back in Mugshots Lair, I can't kill myself! Ah. Oh. Okay, well, I guess this is a good place to end off the video because I don't want to get wrapped up in too much else. So, 
next time on Sly Cooper, we will be hopefully doing this vine grinding stuff right and doing some of those levels that you see right over there. Stupid water safety. Alright, see you guys then.